What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Mandy Somnyang, aka Mans, and thank you again for tuning into this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Thank you for being a loyal supporter. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome to my family. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe. So as you can tell from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing assumptions. Um, I'm going to be addressing some of your assumptions about me, um, some juicy assumptions about me. So I posted, I posted a, um, a poll or I asked for you guys to give me a bit of your assumptions on Instagram. And, um, I must say I was very, very, very impressed, um, with what I got. And also, I was very, very shocked at how how messy some of you guys are. Like, y'all don't play. Like, legit, y'all don't play. Um, I will say that the assumptions that I got are very, very juicy. I have not gone through all of them. I think I have gone through, like, a few of them. So, we are going to be addressing what you guys think of me. I'm going to set the record straight, y'all period so without any further ado let's get into the video also guys i'm having some juice because guys he has not opened for us so we make do with what we have so without wasting any more time let's get into the video I'm just pulling up the assumptions real quick and i must say they're really juicy i'm gonna try to go through okay i'm not gonna go through all of them guys i'm not gonna be able to go through all of them but we're gonna try to to go through um most of them <laughs> okay so the first the first assumption over here says um you do private dances for your partner well no i don't do private dances for my partner because i don't really have anyone specific or that one person at the moment but um when i do have someone because i am a dancer or i'm very skilled in that department I like to drop it down a little bit for my partner. So yeah. Um, next assumption is it's it's not really juicy, just that you are impatient. Impatient, I mean we all are, I guess, you know. I don't like to be kept waiting, you know, so yeah, yes, I am impatient. Alright, so the next assumption is I don't know, you look like a power bottom. Like you take two dicks at the same time. <gasps> oh my god. So let's just unpack this. The first part says I look like a power bottom. People have different definitions of what a power bottom is. Okay. So I don't think I am a power bottom. And at the same time, the next part is take two dicks at the same time. No. I have never done that, and I don't think I'll ever do that. So that we're gonna we're gonna move right along. All right. So the next assumption is you can be a snob. I can be a be a snob. Probably yes, I can be a snob. Um, I guess we all are snobs sometimes. So yeah. Let's move on to the next assumption is you look like you give great sex. Huh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to blow my own horn, but I've never had any complaints. I never had nobody complain before. So, yeah. All right. So the next assumption is, um, what does it say? That you like the Fifty Shades type of sex, the choke me, 
or slap me out daddy kind of sex guys i i feel like this is like legit so juicy um no i don't like the 50 shades kind of sex i don't like that whole um sub and dominatrix kind of for playing you know no i'm not into that so that's definitely not my vibe um the next assumption is you an introvert you're an introverted messy bottom and by messy i mean you thrive on drama introverted messy bottom and by bottom i mean you thrive on drama one i don't thrive on drama two i don't like drama three i'm not even dramatic so that assumption is wrong period next assumption is you get bored easily in relationships you come across as arrogant you're very secretive so those are three things that this person this person has mentioned one is i get bored really easily when it comes to relationship that is very true i feel like this person probably knows me um, that is very true. I get bored very easily. We, we constantly have to, you know, do things that are exciting or reinvent ourselves because I get bored quite easily. Um, the two, the second part is you come across as arrogant. I don't think I come across as arrogant. I mean, I don't think I'm an arrogant person. It's just that sometimes if I'm meeting people for the first time, I'm very reserved, I'm very shy, and I keep to myself, and I won't speak a lot, and people can misinterpret that as arrogance. And uh, the last part is you very secretive. Yes, I'm very secretive. Um, I choose what to share and who to share it with. And I don't like my business being all about in the streets, so... I guess this person probably knows me very well because that is very true. The third assumption is oh, you give good head. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna move right along. Comment down below what you think about these questions. My goodness. All right, so the next assumption is that you never settle down. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm the kind of person that wants to settle down at some point in my life. Right now, I'm just working on me. I'm just like, trying to build my career and finding the right person is also part of my plan. So eventually, I will get to a part where if I'm in a relationship that is, if, if I'm in a very good, stable relationship, I think I might want to settle down, but right now at this moment, it's definitely not a plan or it's definitely not something that's in the cards for me. The next assumption is, oh my God, you guys and, and the sex questions. It is you like sex. Let's keep it moving. I'm not going to say anything, but look at my head. All right, so the next assumption is that you are getting married or have been married for a while. No, I'm not getting married. And no, I have not been married for a while. I feel like y'all would know if I was married or y'all would know if I was getting married. Because something like that, I would not keep a secret, child. No, I will not keep that a secret. All right. So the next assumption is you probably have toast often, but when you do, you butter it on both sides. I like this. I like this. That is so true. I'm one person. I do like to have my bread buttered both sides, if you know what I mean. I know, I know, I know, I know. It can come across as very selfish and... And whatever, I don't care. But I do like to have my toast butted both sides, if you know what I mean. And um, the next assumption, I think this is the last, okay, the second last one is, um, law, I've suspected this for years, but all the hotel drops off by wealthy men, love you, plus it's mutual. Let me just read that again. 
I've suspected this for, for years, but all the hotel drop-offs, but wealthy men love you, it's mutual. I don't know. I think this person is someone that is asking me if wealthy men love me or if it's mutual. I'm not sure. And also the hotel drop-off. Girl, why are you trying to tell my business in the streets? <laughs> We're going to move right along to that one as well. And then the last, the last assumption is you are a bad bitch. Well, I like to think I am a bad bitch, you know. Um, I like to think that we all are bad bitches in our own rights, you know. Who doesn't want to be a bad bitch? Who doesn't want to be a boss bitch? You know what I mean? That's how I interpret it if you mean that I am a bad bitch. You know what I mean? We all try to, we all try to hustle, we all try to get our grind on, and we all try to bad bi be bad bitches, okay? We can't all be city girls, let's all be bad bitches. Um... Oh, and then there's a last one is that I always think you are super romantic. That is a very good assumption because I am one person who is a hopeless romantic. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, guys, I did ask you guys to give me juicy assumptions. So I think um, the ones that I did go through, ones that I did read um well on point i did get a lot of them but like they were mostly repetitive especially the ones where the people were asking me if i like to smash or what i like to you know what i mean all those all the sex ones were very repetitive so um yeah i hope i hope i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope i got to smash a bit of your assumptions about me and i hope that you do not switch this video off without hitting the subscribe button without hitting the bell give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.